Hello, fellow creatives. How you doing? Hope things are going well. I am coming down with a cold, I think. Hopefully not. It's it's like another cold. But uh, we are going to he be here on the Building Evolve server. We're going to take a look around at all this and uh, look around at this kind of new extension I'm working on on my build. It's been a while since I've been on this server. So I want to show you guys all about uh, what I've been building here because there's about 2,000 more of you than there used to be. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and kind of explain this crazy stuff. This is everything I have built myself. We'll go over there in a minute. Um, this is the teleporter pad that takes you over there if you don't have a flyer. Uh, but uh, let's um, let's let's just kind of walk around this area here. So what is this thing? This is a Buddhist kind of uh, monastery area that I am attempting to build. Uh, I built. I started way up there and. Um, we're going to build a main temple area sometime soon, hopefully. Uh, I am done traveling for the summer, <clears throat> minus uh, the eclipse this weekend. So uh, videos should start picking up in frequency, hopefully. Uh, life comes at you fast. Sometimes it doesn't quite work out that way. Um, but uh, I spent all last night kind of building all this stuff. My aim is to basically put stone everywhere um, that you see. The, uh, just to completely cover this ground cover here so that uh, we have a nice kind of multi-tiered sort of area from which to build uh, onto like the temple and stuff. So it's not going to be straight out Buddhist. It's just going to be Buddhist like, but uh, we're kind of going with this sort of serene kind of uh, mm, curated garden sort of thing that, that we, that this kind of area provides as well as uh maybe some living and functional quarters up on the cliffs. So let's go ahead and head on up. Um, let's go up this way. So of course we've got this kind of nice little railing here. It's uh, or this, this, what is this? This is like a bridge or something. Um, no, it's a, it's a walkway. It's a walkway climbs up the cliff. My, my words are just doing terrible, <laughs> but we've got uh, this thing. It goes all the way up to the top here. Um, and this thing, we're going to be building more structures on top of the, uh, off the side of this thing, I think. Um, but uh, we started with the one up there. And uh, it's just kind of a cool kind of thing. Uh, I really like verticality in my build, so I try to uh, do it wherever possible. It's kind of neat because up here, you are now in an entirely different world than you were down there because you can't even see down there. Um, this is just completely different. So we've got this... Uh, this area up here, I'm thinking maybe I need to paint this uh, this stuff here, but uh, I, don't, I don't know. Let me, let me get out of here so I can kind of point things out. But uh, this is kind of an example of the architecture we're going for uh, with uh, the uh, white exterior uh, with uh, kind of that nice uh, plain uh, sort of wood shutters and stuff. And then we have this uh, painted uh, painted kind of reddish uh, stain for the exterior woods. Uh, so that's kind of how we're choosing to go about it. But this is uh, this is the first structure I built up here on this server. Oh, come on, open up. And it's just a basic functional area. It's just kind of your basic uh, single or two or three person domicile. So uh, a couple of the uh, monks can uh, hang out up here and uh, make this their home. And of course, we've got a fine feathered friend up there. But uh, they come down here and then... This, this could be like a nice little landing area right here for one mount. Um, we could have a bridge going over to there. I, I definitely want to build stuff off of these. So that's kind of what we're planning on doing. Uh, let's go ahead. Um, yeah, I'm not going <laughs> to not gonna jump because I don't have God mode enabled. Uh, but uh, there's a little bit of thing right here that I want to talk about. Um, this, this is going to have a, a bridge that is going to go over to uh, this area here. Um, this area is a bit of a dock, um, like a industrial dock, and it's kind of mixing some steampunky elements into it. Only problem is uh, I can't build any uh, modded objects right now uh, because there's some goofy thing wrong with the server. So anything that's not structures plus, uh, I can't build. So, But it should just kind of clip on here, and then you'd be able to walk across it. Uh, that's kind of the idea. So I will... Uh, I'd probably, uh, I think I'll wait to do the second half of this vid until uh, 
we can figure out uh, what the heck is going on with the server. Might need a reboot. Uh, instead, let's go ahead and head on over with our Tapahara, and let's see what we got over here. Uh, no, don't land, please. Don't. Oh, these things are temperamental, let me tell you. All right, so this is, um, let's head on out here. This is our kind of steampunky sort of um, Quetzal dock. So this baby, the Quetzals come in, they land, they offload their supplies onto that rhino there, and uh, the rhino can teleport over to there for building. Oh, that's cool. I'd never seen it from this angle. Yes, with the uh, <laughs> with the stone plaza there. Oh, man, that's going to look cool. Uh, I, I'm going to come back to this view at the end of the video once we've done what we've done um, and uh, totally show you guys um, how cool that's going to look here. But uh, anyway, back to the moment at hand. This is our uh, Quetzal dock, and I built it kind of freestanding. Um, so there's no foundation support down here. It's just kind of floating out otherwise. Um, I built this before they made the changes to um, how structures can be embedded into uh, um, these structures and stuff. So I'm not sure if that's kind of going to be still possible. Uh, but uh, for now, I'm, I'm just not touching it because it kind of is. Uh, we are able to find a way using uh, Structures Plus and angled objects to turn these uh, these railings upside down. So if you want to learn how to do that, you should watch that video, uh, which I'll link up here. Um, but it's kind of cool to be able to use objects upside down, let me tell you. Like I did it for uh, for the underside of here. Those are ceilings, just regular S-plus wood ceilings. And if we go up, you see they are... Um, the underside is right side up. It's it's pretty pretty wild how different you can make things look. And of course, um, we uh, we had these things. These are our support cables. They're just you know you, they don't there aren't really cables that are thick enough that that would give you the impression that they'd be able to hold this much weight. Um, so I just use railings, uh, ra uh, ramped railings, uh, S plus ones, so that it would be easier. Um, and it, it it's meant more to just kind of give you the impression. It's not to be a literal sort of thing because it's not a railing. It's supposed to be like a support cable. So um, it's, it's thick enough that it kind of gives you the idea. And that's kind of what you kind of have to go for with these things. A lot of the time is you just use something that's kind of like uh, what you really want to use <laughs> if there's no mod for it. And you just use that instead, and it still looks fine. I mean, you guys think that looks okay, right? It doesn't look derpy or shoddy or anything. I mean, I think that's totally great and all. So, um, yeah, and then uh, I spent a lot of time on these teleport pads, hugging these, uh, these uh, what are they, dino gates? These stupid dino gates, let me tell you. These things, um, oh, they're, I don't know what they are. These things... You you have to use like uh, these um, uh, fence foundations, and you have to line those up manually just to get these to to snap. And then the snapping is like totally off too, so it's like really challenging. It took me maybe an hour or two just to get all these, uh, just to get this one done, and then the same amount of time for the other one. So I, I'm not going to do a whole bunch of those. They 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 take a lot of time, but uh, it it just kind of gives you the idea. That uh, the, these monks over here, they they don't live in the past. They they got a nice little uh, refining operation going, and uh, so they're kind of steampunky too, I suppose. So it's kind of an interesting sort of melding. I don't know what you would call it if there's like a sci-fi term for it, but uh, maybe uh, <clears throat> temple punk or something. I don't know. That's, it, we're we're just sort of going for the whole sort of uh, <laughs> Buddhist garden thing. Uh, mixed with some high technology here. So uh, let's go ahead and come in for a landing over here, and uh, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> um, now, I, I don't know uh, exactly where I'm going to put the temple. Um, it could go up here on top. I guess that's one option. I just don't want to bulldoze these trees. So if, if we do build it up here, uh, we would have to um, build around the trees so that they pop through the canopy. It would be kind of odd to bulldoze them down because they really give some nice shade to this area and I don't want to get rid of that. I mean, I kind of want to preserve that. Uh, otherwise, I mean, there's this area here, which is kind of like right here. It kind of 
butt up right against this tree, probably. So how many foundations across is that? Let's, um, uh, let's get up on this rock. We'll just kind of count it out together. Uh, so we got, uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, could, could go almost seven foundations across. Uh, it's a little small, I, I think. Uh, maybe we could get rid of that one tree, although it's a pretty big one. Uh, we could, uh, let's see. Could we get rid of that one? We get one more out of that. Yeah, if we got rid of this small one, uh, I think that would be worth it, worth, worth a shot. Uh, let's just go and try that. Let's see, let's see what it looks like. I can always use fertilizer to bring it back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't even notice it's gone. All right, so perfect. We can we can just build right here. So that that gives us like seven foundations across, and uh, maybe even more if we if we're careful about where we build this thing. Like, um, I don't want to get rid of these, but we could build it. Uh, oh, actually, you can build it even further in. So you can probably build it and butt it up right against this rock here. Uh, I, I left those rocks there entirely on purpose, um, so that. Uh, you could uh, just kind of have this sort of natural garden sort of thing that's been sculpted. That's sort of the idea. Um, I wanted to get rid of these bamboo shoots, but uh, this one is, uh, it's either the rock, uh, it's either no rock and no bamboo or rock and bamboo. I, uh, there's no middle ground there because uh, the spawn point for both is like right on top of each other. It's kind of unfortunate. So we'll just have to live with that. But um, yeah, I mean, this looks pretty good, I think. So why don't... Um, we go ahead, and I think maybe I should, you know, do this. Uh, maybe use stone for, for these, um, and then uh, maybe come back to you once we get the server working correctly to where we can place the, these, like, planters and stuff. Because I'm, I'm – this is not the final placement. This is just me kind of playing around with uh, – what is this? Eco's, um, Eco's garden decor, I think. It's either that or uh, Eco's – RP decor, but I think it's garden decor. Uh, so, yeah, I'll be right back uh, once we get the server going. Well, life didn't go how I wanted. Didn't get a chance to uh, get the server reset before I needed to publish something because I haven't done it in a while. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the next best thing. I want to build along with you. And uh, I had some ideas. Let me show you this one first. Uh, so we, uh, I went ahead and I added these S plus stone railings because S plus is the only thing I can build with right now. I don't know why. Um, and I inset them into the side of the walls because I thought it'd be kind of uh, neat looking, a little bit different. Um, this little thing coming in, let's see if we get rid of that. This little thing coming in right here and then just stopping. It was begging, begging for something else. So uh, I figured, well, let's, let's see what this does. And then this looked pretty cool. So I did this one and then ended up with this thing. And I, I, I like it. I mean, to be honest, I think it looks pretty dang snazzy, if, if you ask me. Now, especially compared to this, this looks, uh, well, it looks a little plain. So, so uh, we uh, bring it out like so. We can do this. Um, just all the way up the way here, you know. Um, and then we can uh, build that right there. And uh, same thing with this side. It's just very easy. Just uh, pop these in here and uh, makes it makes it very simple, right? So very nice. And uh, of course, I went ahead and I I did this kind of thing all the way around here, which is pretty cool. Um, and I also uh, decided to uh, angle this out a little bit, so I used these triangle stone foundations to kind of make a new sort of uh, balcony thing. And you can see where it kind of comes together right there. Uh, so. It, this is very nice. I like the scenic look here. Uh, it looks great. Uh, I think I might want to add a few more trees, but uh, I don't think I can uh, right now uh, because of the building limitations. Like, I mean, here's the thing. Um, what, is, it, is there one down here? No, there's not. Um, ah, yes, here it is. Uh, here's the thing. Uh, see, see these things? I could place these last night when I, when I was building this out. And um, this is the same planner right here, and uh, can't place them now. Don't, don't, don't know why. Don't know. Didn't matter how many times I do it. Just didn't like it. So, we, like I said, we we've had to kind of uh, do a few things uh, to uh, change this around. But this is kind of how I thought we might do the planters 
for these ginormous trees so they don't just look like they're popping up through, you know, the stone like that. Uh, I think they'll look okay. I, I would maybe try to find a larger planter if there was one, but I don't think Eco has one big enough to accommodate this ginormous tree. So I've had to improvise, and I think it, it kind of does this sort of nice artistic thing. I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, I think it looks good, pretty good. Pr pretty good, I think. Uh, another thing I thought of uh, is uh, doing this. Just popping this right there in the middle. Doesn't that look great? I think that looks pretty good. I, to be honest, I... Oops, excuse me. I got um, my phone notifications on. Uh, so I don't know if you heard that. But I'm trying to get a SNES Mini. And so uh, anytime a little notification pops up, I have like an inventory notifier thing along with all my other notifications. But my phone does a little ding. So, yeah, what can you do? Um, but, uh, yeah, we got this, uh, this thing here and this thing here, and that looks pretty dang good. I think it makes it look more like a shopping mall, but you know, uh, I think it works. Okay. Uh, it looks good. Uh, let's go down here. Um, ah, I need more. Uh, if you're wondering how I'm doing this, uh, I'm using a little program called art commander links down in the description below if you're curious, but, uh, yeah, so we got S plus stone railings. And, uh, yeah, let's do two more right here and two more right here. And we all, we talked about where the temple's going to go somewhere over there, maybe. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Um, but yeah, um, so this, the, the whole thing, if you, if you're still here, if you're still listening, the whole, whole point of this thing here is to just kind of build a themed area. Uh, UTC is off on another part of the map somewhere building his own stuff. Um, but I want to do a dedicated theme area, so I'm building this on his server. Uh, so we'll come back to this. This is a separate series from the Ragnarok stuff. Um, I, I need, need to get a Ragnarok video out next for sure, because we got that, uh, that contest to, to announce. But uh, this one, we're just going to be alternating a little bit and then uh, throw in a Dark and Light episode in there every once in a while. I, I decided um, I'm going to do Dark and Light. Uh, if the game works out and if I can get its work as like a single-player thing, that's what we're going to do. But uh, yeah, so that's um, that's pretty much uh, this. Let's go ahead and take a look. And uh, I will tell you that uh, I go ahead and uh, I every every week or so, actually every couple days, uh, that's the intent, I put out videos for your enjoyment and building inspiration to help you be more creative. So if you want more creative inspiration in your sub box every week, go ahead and click that little subscribe button. And I will uh, see you next time. Thank you so much for watching this video. And uh, in the meantime, go make something awesome. Bye-bye.